Yo, this is your boy James over Expecto Go, bringing you guys the latest and greatest in spells and secrets content. And today, we are testing out the demo for the upcoming game, Spells and Secrets, coming out on various platforms. But currently, the demo is on Steam. Shout out to the Spells and Secrets team for sending me a demo code like a week or two ago by the time this review is up. That being said, it is out for everybody to try, which is so cool, thanks to the positive reception. So I'm excited to try this out and play it. You know I'm a Wizarding World buff and I love all things uh, Harry Potter and stuff. So to have a game similar but not like it and have its own little take on a wizard tree and students going to school and learning about magic, I would, I'm, yo, I'm already in love. So we're gonna try it out. We're gonna test it out, see what's up and uh, just share my thoughts overall let's do it we are on the main page oh my gosh the castle looks gorgeous i love the art style too it's very cute and quaint uh so we got some options on the bottom so we can do play we can do character library we can go to settings where we got in settings uh the pretty basic you got gameplay settings stationary casting limit hud i think i'm going to go with default i don't want to go too in the weeds, mouse, keyboard, ones, video, you see widescreen. Ooh, so you can do full screen windows, borderless windows, screen resolution. Okay, okay, okay. So pretty open, pretty standard stuff. Audio, master overall, that's fine, that's fine. All right, let's go back. Wishlist on Steam, already done that. Make sure you wishlist the game on Steam for sure. All right, let's go in. All right, so we're in the character creator, okay. You can go to the head, so accessories, head base, head style, body style, body base. Let's do body base and let's do body type. Uh, okay, so you got two to select for, okay. Um, let me see, I don't wanna do random. Ooh, idle pose. So it looks like we got, s ooh. So it looks like we got, what, 12 possibly? 12 poses. I like the looking down one. Shy. Spoiler alert, your boy's shy. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's got the wand. Okay, so these are the ones he got wand. Okay, I'll go with that one. I like that one. We here. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, body shape. Oh, cool. How do you... Oh, so, okay. So I can make it tall, short. I'm a little bit short. I'm average, five eight, five eight, five nine is average. I'm a little, I'm wider though. I'm wider. I am a little bit wider. So let's go there. Uh, we got body shape, skin color. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go too dark, but I am dark. I still want to be able to see myself. Let's go with that one. Idle pose. We got that head shape. I got a wide head. I got a white hit. Okay, let's go with that one. Okay, cool. Uh, can I do hair? Oh, that's on the face stuff, okay. Let's see what accessories they have. Neck accessories. Necklace, no. Ooh. Yeah, I might go with the sweater. Casual sweater. I like the hoodie. Yo, let's go with the let's go with this. Let's go with that. I like that. Wrist, bracelet, let's go with leather watch. So two options there for the demo. I don't wanna be too matchy. If I can go to school, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Oh, we gotta switch the shoes up though. Your shoes. I need better options for shoes. I need I'll go with that for right now. Oh, that's random. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's go with head. Base, we got face type. Oh, we got multiple. I'm kind of a square jaw. Yeah, let's go with that. I don't want to get too in the weeds again. Eyebrows. Cool. So the, you got about 12 eyebrow options right there. Two, four, five, twenty face uh, shapes, uh, face type options there. 
base details about eight. And this is where you can get your pimples and stuff and everything. Oh, that's cool. That is so cool. That's, that's, I like that. They have that? That's so cool they have that. That's so cool. That's cool. Uh, very inclusive. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Okay, uh, what else we got? Resting face. Cool. I gotta change that hair. I'll go with that. Keep it cool. Keep it cash. Eye color. I think the eye color is good. And we got that. I think I got the eyebrows I wanted. Let me go through the eyebrows. We got 12 options for the eyebrows. My eyebrows aren't that thick, actually. They're pretty thin. Let's go to the accessories. Let's change. Uh, yes. I want to see the hair types. So let's see. Scroll. Yeah. Afro. Do they have a fade? Do they have a high top fade? Ah. Uh, oh, I love the, wait, this might be me. This might be the closest thing to me. Yeah, that's probably the closest. I like that. It looks like you got the little dress at the top. But I don't have any hair hanging. If I had to, if it gave me the fade on the side, we'd be good. What about this one? That's more straight hair because the hair is going back. Still a cool option though. Yeah, let's go with this one. I got small ears, so I got to change my face. Hair color, we're good. Let me see how many hair colors. So you can switch between. It looks like you can do rainbow stuff, which is cool. Ooh. Yo. Oh, cool. All right. Face accessories. Can we get glasses? We got earrings. Ring classic, okay. I used to wear earrings. Glasses are right here. Here we go. Why is this more around? Yeah, let's go with that one. Oh, right here. Oh, expect that go. All day, every day. Expect G. So hold. Here you go. The character is made. All right. So I like the options they have so far. Um, pretty exciting. Oh, here we go. Move L. Oh, okay, so you can get friends to come through. Co-op beacon. You need to connect two controllers to be able to activate local co-op mode. Sweet, 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 sweet. So I can play this with Sue. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Uh, can't really look around. It's fixed camera positions. <laughs> He's running. That's me running. That's his normal movement. I'm not holding anything to go faster. That's just how he moves, so... A little bit silly, a little bit. But it's a game, so I, I, I'm cool. Can I pick up anything, interact with anything? There's a book just sitting here. Can I take it? Nothing. Okay, so I can't do anything now. This is kind of still kind of at the beginning. So here we go. We're going to the school. We're about to get some story. Professor Amand Amanda Ventura. Good evening. You must be expected to go. Welcome to the Academy of Griffinstein. Okay. My name is Professor Amanda Ventura, and I am in charge of new arrivals like you. You are late. Late, you say? <laughs> Another student late? Uh, but don't worry. I used to be all. I used to be late all the time. Ha 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 ha. We're both laughing. Uh, it was with great joy that I introduced you to our proud Griffin. This is. Is it Merlin in this? Merlin? Merlin? Oh my gosh. V uh, venerable protector protector of the Academy and the beating heart of Griffstein. 
I was like, I gotta make some Merlin theories. <laughs> he was watched over our student for centuries is always there when he is called upon. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Maybe you can even pet him. Oh, he ain't feeling me. He ain't feeling me. Dude's not even looking at me. Haha, I was afraid of that. Don't worry, Merlin's always skeptical of newcomers at first. Once the two of you get to know each other a little better, he will become more trusting. Yo, Merlin. We... It's your boy. You already know who I am. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's a different game. Oh, uh, it's getting dark already. You best go straight to your room in the living. All right. See you tomorrow. Okay, so I'm going to my... Into the living quarters. This is a gorgeous. Ooh, we got sports over here. It looks like we got soccer or football, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, got a nice little river around. It's gorgeous. I like the lighting. It reminds me of the uh, that Disney dream light thing. What is this? Another sports? Is this where you practice? Battles, possibly? I, can't, I still can't do anything. Still can't cast spells. We got Merlin in the middle. Looking like a uh, griffin. More sports over here. We got chest out here. Oh my gosh. They got lights. Can I go out yet? No, I can't go out. Oh, that's going to be fun. These are familiar sports. So it's not like different sports. These are like normal, like you and I, normal Everyday sports. Not different stuff like in uh, Harry Potter. Water is moving a little bit. Okay. I'm just doing exploring. I know I'm supposed to go to the living quarters. Let's go to the living quarters. All right. Here we go. And you get an icon. To let you know, kind of point you. I'm not seeing a mini map. I'm not seeing a HUD or anything. You might not need it because it's maybe not as big. Find your dorm room. So we get another part of the area. Oh, they got a chair. Whoa. What happened? A feather. Forrest Gump, my favorite movie. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait. Did that happen because I went the wrong way? What's the feather? Return, continue, settings. Do I not have... Maybe I don't have access to my bag or inventory yet. All right, let's get to this stuff. I, I automatically want to explore. This is gorgeous. It's like a fun, cute little game. There's chairs everywhere. And there's books everywhere. Which would make sense for a school, right? Like a boarding school? Whoa. Looks like you got constellations over here. Can I go in here? No. Oh, it opens up. <laughs> we can be... Yo. This is cool. This is cool. So that's mine. So the feather was... It, was that a key? Was the feather a key? We got pictures of different, I'm assuming, former students or teachers. All right, this is the extent of the hallway. All right, let's see what's in our room, see what we, they give us. He used his wand. It looked like he used his wand to open it. Sleep. So that's like a carpet for everywhere. You gotta be able to decorate your dorm. So I'm here to sleep. This is my room. Oh, cool. I read it to the light. What about plant? I can move around the plant. I can run into that. It's like my briefcase. I got a something on the side of the bed. I got a computer. Oh, we got internet? Oh, we about to make some YouTube videos. 
about my experience at this school, just like I'm doing right now. We're getting meta now. We're getting meta. School looks gorgeous. I love the clouds. Whoa! They blew the roof off. <laughs> what? What happened? Griffinstein Intercom. Attention all students, this is your principal speaking. As we speak, an unknown force is trying to enter the castle. It looks like it came from the castle. No reason to worry. The castle's defenses work like a charm. Ha. Nevertheless, I have to ask you all to report to the secure schoolyard immediately. The teachers will secure the school and assist you. Be on your guard. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's get some battles. Read. Sorcery for beginners. Telekinesis is a simple but versatile spell. This spell allows you to make a target by sheer willpower, to move a target by sheer willpower without even touching it. Make sure you keep a firm footing and focus on your target. Maintain the spell and imagine yourself moving the target. Okay, telekinesis, use all your willpower. Blah, blah. Artifacts you may find, you may modify the spell in various ways. X to cast a primary spell. I gotta find something to interact with. So, you can't... Okay, there it is. There we go. So, you can use your uh, other analog stick, stick to kind of focus. To move around your target. While using, obviously... Uh, you can use your right analog stick to move around and find your target. While you use your left analog stick to move. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, Alright, let's see. I'm casting a primary spell. Oh. And that's my meter. It's like Zelda a little bit. Telekinesis. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then on... Lock on, unlock. Okay, and we, okay, now we're getting a little bit of the HUD on the bottom left. So the focus, and then boom. Sweet. Okay, how do I get out of here? Oh, who is this? Oh. Hey, expect to go. I'm glad you're here. Well, the uh, whole school is suddenly crawling with magical creatures. Causing all kinds of trouble. Do you see those main doors? They uh, close automatically and remain locked as long as intruders are present in the area. Okay. So they got a um, magical charm or something on the doors. Cool. They will only open once all intruders have been defeated in the area. So that way they explain you staying in one area until your battle's done. Smart, smart, smart. They did that narratively. I can get it. All right. Alas, I cannot accompany you back to the schoolyard, so you will have to defend for yourself. Are you familiar with the magic missile? Here we go. It's very simple. Stay focused on your target. Think about how much you want to get rid of it. <laughs> I really need to get going now. See you in the schoolyard. So, all up here. Magic missile is equipped. Create a magical missile to attack the distant target. Does not affect friendly targets. Uh, charge the spell to increase the damage dealt by the magic missile. Artifacts you find may find, modify the spell in various ways. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's. All right, let's get rid of this. Okay, it's like I'm maxed out, and then boom. Oh, it's gorgeous. All right, let's see. Let's let's lock on. Two, three charges were maxed out. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. I gotta see what this does to those creatures that we got coming around here. Alright, this is a dead end down here. Looks like this is the only way. 
Oh, we see the creatures. Five. Okay, so you get to see the HP. We don't see a health bar. Get out of here, homie. This is my school. I'm going to be top wizard one day. I'm going to take over for Merlin spot. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's pretty intuitive. It's not bad. Pretty simple. One. Let me see if I use the other spell. Oh, okay, that's what it looks like to get. I can keep him. Awesome. Can I hold that and do that at the same time? Stay over there, homie. So this is a telekinesis spell, keeping them at bay. Then boom, telekinesis. Stay over there. Boom. Hey, get back. Get back. Boom. Let's see if we can do a max power attack. Oh, we already got him. Okay, sweet. Yo, I like it. I like it. Music. Okay, that door is closed, so it looks like we got more enemies around here. Oh, boom. Stay back, stay back. Got him. Let's go. Yo, we do this. We do this. This is what we do. Okay, leave the area. Okay. Now it's yellow, so now we can get out of here. What is this? We got a new NPC to meet. Lost schoolmate. Hey. You over there. As you can see, I'm a bit of a pickle. In a bit of a pickle. Clumsy me forgot to bring along my wand. Hee <laughs> hee. Without it, I regretfully cannot do anything against the armadillo. But surely you can help me out. Here. You must have noticed what happened to the thing when it r rolled against the wall. Armadillo showed their vulnerable, vulnerable belly when stunned. Make sure you give the beast a good whack at just the right time i'm sure that'll be a piece of cake for you watch out it's waking up can i get it to run into the wall all right let's see whoa that did a lot Oh, it's done. Okay, we want it to run into something. Run into this, come on. Yes, charge it up, charge it up, charge it up. No, wrong way. There we go. Piece of cake, like they said. Yo, I, I like that jacketed shirt. Robin Peters, just like Armadillo, each creature has certain weak points. If you find them, exploit them, make any beast vulnerable and defeat them with ease. Use the spells creatively and observe careful, carefully how beings react to them. It's where you'll sooner or later find all the weaknesses. Thank you for saving me. I haven't seen, even introduced myself. I'm Robin Peters, second year. Are we a first year then? I'm sure you've heard of me. Always looking to solve tricky cases. What do you think? Should we work together and figure out what's going on? With your magical talent and my masterful detective eye, I'm sure we'll make an unbeatable team. Yo, I am down. Meet me there and I'll help you solve the mystery surrounding the attack on our school. Yo, this is cool. Like, you're getting action off the jump. All right, so I'm supposed to meet uh, Mr. Peters somewhere. Let's see what we got over here. That's blocked off. Pretty cut and dry. Pretty straightforward. More of the school. I love the pictures on the walls though. 
That's crazy to see, like, internet and computers and stuff with a wizard school. So, I'm interested to see how they mix both together. Whoa. Whoa! Dr. Theodore O. Pot. Hello. Dr. Theodore Pot, super, uh, supervisor teacher, supervisory teacher for first year students. You may skip the doctor if you like. Oh, and Octavius too, please. <laughs> Evident, evidently, there's another one of those pesky creatures in this area. You seem to know how to defend yourself against such intruders. So how about a new spell? Take your pick. Oh! Levitate, utility spell, utility spell, offensive spell. A shockwave to forcefully push away targets in front of you. Entities that move too fast will cause and suffer appropriate effects of collision. I don't know. Transform yourself into a swift and tiny mouse to avoid detection. I'm, no, I'm not trying to sneak around. Enchant a target to levitate it, making the airborne uh, entities cannot move. Charge the spell and increase the duration of its effect. Let's go offensive. I think offensive might be more entertaining. All right. Splendid choice. I have one essential lesson for you. You can find magical artifacts all over the castle. These artifacts are items that modify and enhance some of your spells while you're carrying them. There's a hidden room next door with such an artifact. You students think it's a secret, but what you might not know is that it, I hid it there in my own student day. Oh! God. Okay. By the way, that is not the only secret to be found here in these walls. But be that as it may, the artifact in the room will modify your new spell. This will make your fight with the intruder a breeze. However, the entrance in the secret room is locked behind a riddle. So you have to use your wits to find your way in. I'll give you one last tip before I have to take it. Take my leave. Follow the lights and you will find you will be enlightened. Solve the secret puzzle to find the artifact. No, <laughs> I'm not good at puzzles. All right, let's cast. Okay, so that's the new spell right there. So it said, follow the lights, you'll be enlightened. Ah, oh, sweet, sweet. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what is this? This room looks cool, by the way. This is secret artifact. Alfred's glove, jostle artifact. Jostle interrupts, confuses, and even stuns any target it hits based on how long you charge it. Confused uh, entities cannot target anything nice defeat the intruder where is he where is it oh nice Good work james Let's keep him over there. Oh, he teleported. Oh, he's got an AOE attack? Yeah. Oh, we got an AOE attack. Oh, you're fast. Can I? Yes. Oh, I got to pay attention to my meter. Oh, get out of there. Let's go. I like it. There's a little bit of difficulty with this. Okay. Leave the area. How? Yeah.
Yo, my kids would love this game. Investigate the magic circle. Oh, we got health at the top now? Oh, sweet. Oh, we got a new, another professor? Excellent, my teleport traps are working. Oh, oh this is a villain. Oh my gosh, the mask is freaky. Everything is going to plan. Well, what have we here? A lost little hatchling. Must have fallen out of your nest. Too bad your, your old griffin patron isn't here to protect you. Prepare yourself for the end. Oh my gosh. I am not ready for you, homie. No, get off of that. Ooh, the boy's dodging. Ooh, that hurt. No. Boom. Boom. Let's go. Get it. There's no way I'm supposed to be able to beat this dude. Okay, his spear's getting wider. Let's go. Oh! That's what, that's what your arrogance gets you. It is really quite pathetic. Oh my gosh, yo, chill. What has become of this school? I just got here. Hope the next one you send will be more of a challenge. Who are you talking to? Bruh. I feel defeated. Wait, is the next day? Wait, it's, you are the real deal, Expecto. Oh, what a cool entrance. Thanks again for saving me from the rampage of Arbadillo. Wait, so the nights just got, the sky just got dark because of the magic, but it was, no, the sun was setting. It's the next day. Whatever's going on around here is pretty suspicious, don't you think? I have a feeling we'll solve this closer together, this uh, case together. Would you mind going back to the castle to look for more clues? Should be a breeze for you with your magic skills. Why don't we figure out what happened together and hunt down these uh, those responsible? I think we can do that, Robin. Get back to me when you discover something new. But before you follow that good instinct of yours, you should talk to Professor Ventura. Yo, where were where where is she at during all of this? I like to get, I like the outfit. The outfit is off the chain. Good to see you again, Spectre Go. I love the detective is right. Your interest was truly impressive. I lost. However, I don't think Robin understood its, its significance. You need to know one thing. You only stand before me now because Merlin gave you one of his mighty feathers. Whatever you encountered in the castle wanted you your demise. And Merlin's feather prevented the worst. It all began tonight with that strange explosion in the spires. Since then, Merlin and the principal... There's a, okay, there's a principal. I've appeared, have disappeared without a trace. Hope they are both well. I never thought I would see the magic of a griffin feather myself. It is said that a griffin feather carries its owner to safety. When they are in mortal danger, Merlin seems to have suspected something even before the nice incident occurred. He could have told me. He didn't want to speak to me when I saw him. You should keep this secret to yourself. More secrets. Secrets are spell, spells the secrets. There are people in the world who would do terrible things to obtain the power of a griffin feather. Interesting. So we know the feather protects us. However, there's one advantage to this whole predicament. You are now free to explore the castle without us having to fear for your safety. Nevertheless, prepare yourself well. After all, you have to fight your way through. Please visit Dr. Pot. I learn a new spell. He's waiting for you in the middle of the schoolyard. And we got 540 at the top. I don't know what that is. Oh, there's pots right here. I didn't have to go far. Hello, expected to go. Nice to see you. See that you are in one piece. It seems that lost spell I showed you was quite useful. I'll be happy to teach you more. Visit me anytime. Oh, okay. So it cost. Okay. So you got one, you can get them for free or they'll cost you some money. So it looks like I went with the right one. This was the more expensive one. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. 
Uh, let's do levitate. It'll be interesting to turn into a mouse. Let's do that. Let's try that. Excellent speculator. I see you. you and Dr. Potts are getting along pretty well. Before you leave for the castle, I have some important advice for you. Once you've gained enough experience, you can visit us professors to improve your experience. That's probably how you get <clears throat> new spells and abilities and even inventory, possibly, items. For example, I could teach you enhanced forms of the telekinesis spell. Sweet, sweet. Griffin's uh, effigy in the center of the schoolyard even allows you to permanently improve your basic stats, health, and mana. Sweet. <clears throat> you can now explore other areas that border the schoolyard, the atrium, and the promenade. There you will be able you will find more schoolmates, magical devices, and access to the different student factions. Ooh, factions. You have me at factions. Would you mind keeping an eye out for the lost schoolmates inside the castle? Why don't you do it? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, there must be some who are still trapped in the different parts of the castle. Why are y'all worried about me? There's people still in the castle. <clears throat> I'm sure that if you rescue them late, them and later visit them in the schoolyard, they will gladly share their valuable experiences with you. Oh, one last thing. Don't be surprised if the castle appears unfamiliar each time you enter it. Sentient castle, say? A magical uh, defense mechanism ensures that areas are constantly rearranged, resulting in a crazy maze. Have fun. In the oh, this is going to be amazing to, score to explore. Oh my gosh, a w major award, complete the first story. Let's go. Magic map, okay, now we got the map. Use the app to find your way. Oh, we using apps? Oh, this is a cool. It's mixing technology with magic. Award case, smartphone app, use this to track of your achievements. What? Open smartphone. Favorite app, spell organizer. What? Collector's guide, award case. Bruh, can I save? And you can set them for your D pad. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That is cool. All right, so that's going to be it for our first time playing. Spells and secrets overall. It just is seamless fun Interesting game. I'm very interested in the story. The spell casting looks like very just clean and simple to use Fun uh, the colors. I, I mean, I, I like this. This seems to be very fit for a Nintendo switch type game You know what I'm saying? So I'm excited to explore this and see what other secrets uh, this game has um, but the music the vibe the graphics uh, the movement is not like in your face like a Hogwarts Legacy type detail but you don't kind of need that for this type of game if you're just going to be having fun playing around and just wanting to explore a certain type of the wizarding world without you know having to be a part of you know harry potter this is its own thing so um i really appreciate that and again i'm very looking forward to the story which is a lot what i care about when it comes to these type of games uh particularly uh wizarding games so Yo, I'm interested. What do you guys think? How do you guys feel about the first impression so far? Um, I'm going to continue playing this until I beat the demo. So be on the lookout for more of these episodes. But yeah, sound off below in the comment section below your thoughts on this. Is this something you might wish list or not? Yo, I want to hear from you guys. I cannot wait to play this game again and show it to you. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Until next time.